Hi there, it's Jolie. And Melissa from Blessing the Children. And we just wanted to take a moment to share an update with you on the impact that the coronavirus pandemic has on our ministry op operations in Ethiopia, Africa. We serve one of the world's most vulnerable populations, orphaned and abandoned children living in abject poverty. 2,000 students attend our School of Excellence, the BCI Academy, and 200 severely impoverished children depend on support from our sponsorship family to meet their basic needs for food, clothing, and shelter. African nations are highly vulnerable to pandemic illnesses. The Ethiopian way of life means close quarters at home and the predominant use of public transportation. Social distancing is extremely difficult, to say the least. At this time, there are no known cases of COVID-19 in any of our children, families, or Ethiopian staff members, which is excellent. But there are less than 200 known cases in the country. It's likely that time and testing will uncover more cases as the virus continues to spread through the global population. The Ethiopian government shut down schools when there were less than 10 cases nationwide. Like many other students around the world, our children are now currently staying in their homes and social distancing from their friends and families. Additionally, there's an unemployment crisis among our families. The vast majority of parents and guardians worked as daily laborers. This means that they take work as it comes, like washing, chore washing clothes, making injera, working on construction projects. There's no government program providing any kind of financial assistance either, whether through stimulus payments or rent relief. This has added to the stress in the homes. Rent payments are still due, food still needs to be purchased, but there's no money coming in. So to combat the effects of the pandemic, we're focusing our efforts in three main areas, emergency food support, education, and measures to blunt the transmission of the virus among our children and staff. One of the first measures that we took was to provide immediate food relief to the families that are in our program. We also provided soap, cooking oil, and instructions on how to prevent the transmission of the illness. We took this step in late March and again in early May, and we will continue to do so on a monthly basis. Even with this food support, the 40 families in crisis need more intervention. You can get involved and stand between these families and hunger. For $90, you could help us provide food for an entire family that will carry them through August. You can visit our website at blessingthechildren.org and rescue a family in crisis with just a few simple steps. Or you can give us a call at the office at 888-269-2719. We also feel that it's critical to provide the children with virtual education. A loss of educational opportunities is a highly vulnerable population is particularly devastating and we have to do what we can. So we're working to make a tablet device available to every family in our sponsorship program so that they can access educational resources. We're using Office 365 as well as an educational platform to deliver our learning materials. The cost of each device is $180. The siblings in the household will share the device so that they can all complete their studies. If you can help us provide a tablet or several tablets or even make a small contribution towards the cost of one tablet, please reach out to us. No amount of help is too small and we currently have a donor who's offered gift matching for the tablets. So if you make a donation now, your, your gift will go twice as far. We're also focusing on two different areas of prevention. In addition to making soap readily available, we have touchless thermometers and face masks that we are looking to purchase. We need to raise $600 so we can purchase some touchless thermometers and $200 so we can purchase the supplies for face masks. We've already made one face mask available per child, but we need to continue to make face masks available as the pandemic grows. The pandemic is affecting every facet of life for all of us all around the world. Our absolute priority is doing what we can to protect and support the children we serve and our Ethiopian staff on the front lines. There are a few less critical areas of our operation that will be impacted by the pandemic, but we're doing what we can to work through these inconveniences. Our children are currently writing to their sponsors, but there will be a delay in the delivery of letters because it costs several hundred dollars to mail a package of letters between Ethiopia and the U.S. at this time because we have our borders closed. Several projects like home repairs and birthday festivities are also on hold there. 
We'll remain available at the office to help you, and you can reach out to us by email at info at blessingthechildren.org. You can also mail us letters for your child or donations to Blessing the Children International at 2265 Fraser Road, Cock Hall in Michigan, 48631. Or you can give us a call at 888-269-2719. When calling, please be sure to leave a message with your name and number and let us know how we can help. It might be cliche, but we truly are all in this together. We appreciate your support, and if your circumstances allow, we invite you to partner with us to meet the urgent needs of our children and families. Stay safe and God bless.